The biggest enemy of success, I would say there's probably three enemies of success. Yeah. The first big enemy is the comfort zone, is where people become comfortable doing what they're doing and they don't like to change. 80% of the population finds reasons not to change, even if the change can be positive or beneficial. The second thing that holds people back is what is called learned helplessness. This is where people feel, I can't do it. Mm. I cannot make a change. They're always thinking about excuses or reasons why they cannot change. And the third enemy is what we call the path of least resistance, which is always looking for an easy way to achieve a result. But nothing worthwhile can be achieved easily. Everything worthwhile requires a long period of hard work with many failures along the way. Who has a plan B? Motherfuckers that lose. That's a fact, okay? Every single person that wins big, every single person that you look at, every single person that you're inspired by, every single person that you aspire to be like, they only have one motherfucking plan. And that is, they are gonna win or they are gonna die fucking trying. Because the people who go all in, the motherfuckers who burn the ships and leave themselves no other option but success, those people are dedicating all their skills, all their resources, all their energy into producing a specific outcome. And if you're competing against someone who's going all in with every resource they have and you're only going half in because you're half in and you're half fucking out, guess what? You're gonna lose. Remember, it's not what you have, but what you do with what you have that separates winners from losers. It's not what happens to you, but how you respond to what happens to you that counts. In the final analysis, your response to the adversity of life is the real measure of who you are and what you're made of. The Greek philosopher Epictetus once said that circumstances do not make the man or woman, they merely reveal him to himself. Everyone eventually goes through periods of great difficulty, their own private hells, their dark nights of the soul. But it is by facing whatever life gives us with courage and determination that we grow more surely toward the stars. Here's a mistake most people make when they're working on something big. You put effort in, but each small step by itself feels insignificant. And after all that hard work, you still can't see any results. So you get tempted to give up altogether. But even when you can't see big changes yet, here's why you should trust in the power of those small, consistent actions. Each step you take towards your goal, however small, adds to your new sense of identity. You're proving to yourself, this is just what I do now, this is how I live. And all of those efforts that you feel like they're not making any difference are actually accumulating over time so that before you know it you look up and you see results you never believed you were capable of the hardest most traumatic event that's ever going to happen to you in your life is your greatest gift only if you let it be it's where you find your substance it's where you find your character it's what you find you made made out of but it also gives you the ability to relate with other people that are struggling and when you overcome that you're going to find gratitude you're going to find yourself you're going to find purpose in overcoming that and you're going to become so stoic so strong so forged that you're going to be able to help other people but if you are struggling with something i want to share <clears throat> my three principles that will help you through anything in your life yeah and it's perception action and will and i did not create this this is from marcus aurelius epictetus i'm a huge fan of reading stoicism if you haven't read meditations or any stoic figures books if you're a young man even if you're not struggling just go on amazon and buy meditations by marcus aurelius and you can read from thousands of years ago what the most powerful man in the world was thinking about and it's still relevant to today so perception action and will this is all you have as a person women and men yeah. so like i could say the most heinous horrendous things to you right but if you don't let it land and you don't yeah. react back and give me anger back did it really did make any noise Did it really have any impact it really yeah. didn't right yeah. you chose to perceive it Ryan's just upset he's an angry person it's okay I'll just give him love yeah. well, you just controlled the situation so you can react now you decide how you react but what's the next step after you if you choose to perceive something as it's in your favor 
right? And I'm not talking being tragically optimistic. There are bad things that happen. I'm talking about keeping your power. What's the next thing after that is action, yeah. right? No one, I can't force you to do anything that you don't want to do, right? Like the government might try to make you do stuff you don't want to do, but yeah. you know, it's up to you to take the action. So, but no one can take that away from you. And then the third thing is the most beautiful thing and it's the most powerful energy on planet and that is human will and the will and the spirit to carry on when things get tough and if you don't think that you have it in you listen to me you come from a fucking long line of survivors you're here everybody that came before you survived and these guys crossed oceans they crossed mountains they went through wars they went through famine and you're still here living if you don't think that that dna exists inside you you're lost because you haven't got a struggle yet you haven't found something that pulls it out and this goes back to why i say that the greatest thing that will ever happen to a man is your darkest moments it's your struggle because in that moment you realize that you get to control your perception, that no one can take away your ability to take action, and that you have a deep-rooted DNA of will in you to move through anything. Imagine where you'd be if you just did all the things you're supposed to do for one year. None of this up and down shit where you're like, I'm focused on my goals. I'm not focused on my goals. I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to start on Monday. Imagine for one year, you consistently do things that move you in a positive direction. Do you think after that year, you would have a lot of the same problems that you currently have right now? Do you think you'd still be overweight? Would you still be depressed? Would you still have anxiety? Would you still be broke? Would your relationship still suck? My guess? Probably not. My guess is you would realize the power of consistent daily action, stacking up small wins over time. And you would realize that you can literally do anything you want so long as you're willing to do what it takes to get there. And that the sole reason you were living the life that you were living before is because you refused to do what it takes. You thought about it, you dreamt about it, you planned to do it, but you never did it. And so I guarantee that if you focus for one year on doing the things you say you're going to do and not deviating from them, it will shatter your entire perspective of reality. Motivation is for average people. Discipline is where everybody who's ever achieved anything great that you admire, that is what they value. Stop asking, what do I need to do to get motivated? And start asking, how can I become more disciplined? Because discipline is the ultimate superpower. If you can learn to execute against the tasks that will get you to where you want to go, regardless of what's happening in your life, regardless of the pain you're feeling in the moment, regardless of any outside circumstances, how can you ever fucking lose? You can't. A lot of people can give up. It's easy to give up. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. All right, man, I'm, I'm done. I ain't going. Oh, yeah. I ain't mm -hmm. going to keep going. Yeah, the I don't feel like going to work. It's very easy. But what's hard is going... Yo, yesterday, I got nothing from working as hard as I could. Nothing happened from that. I'm going to do the same thing again today, but I'm going to try to go harder. That's the hardest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. To get up every day and give 100% and, and be in the same position that you were each day, but mentally know that you're trying and trying and trying. That's a real grind. You simply cannot defeat someone who, despite the inevitable obstacles life presents, rises to their feet again and again. You can't take someone down who molds the adversity they face into armor they wear. No, those people are gods of their own worlds. They are immune to the shackles that hold most back. Like, comment, and subscribe.